All right, guys, so for fact fluency today, we're going to do one of these um, solving problems um, that I used to post on the board in the classroom. So I'm just going to walk through how I might do this first, um, because there there are some things that you might be able to do first um, that will help you solve some of the other ones. So I've listed all of the minion types over here for you to put what each of them equals. So if I was looking at these problems, I might look at this one and be like, well, that doesn't give me any numbers, so I'm not going to start there. But if I look at this, 22 is the same as the waving minion plus 10 more. So I might think to myself, what do I need to add to 10 to make it to 22? So if I was thinking, this is the minion I'm thinking about. And I know that in order to make 22 from 10, I'm going to need to add 12. So I'm going to know that the waving minion equals 12. So I might come over here and write 12. So I'll remember that. And then this minion, that means that this minion is 12. This one is 12. And this one is 12. So then this that would make this one really easy. I would look at it and go 12 plus the duck floaty minion equals 13. So what do I need to add to 12 to make it to 13? And then you can keep using those, um, those reasoning methods to help you um, solve that minion math. Um, once you're finished, you're just going to write the totals for each of the minions over here and submit your answers. Happy learning.